is virtually here. Uncle Sam says carry on polluting. And Madge dumps Michael for Channel 4. The waiting should be over for game console fanatics, but it's not. PlayStation 2 went on sale at midnight, but only 165,000 have been shipped over, and they were all pre-booked. Sony reckons it's working overtime to make more units for Britain, so kids aren't too disappointed at Christmas. For some, the excitement's already proving too much. I've got tomorrow off work, so I'll be playing this all day tomorrow. And uh, I've got the weekend as well, and I, I think I might book next week off as well. PlayStation 2, it's on everyone's mind these days, and leading us into its North American launch, the excitement and anticipation surrounding it is starting to blow a few minds. Man, the graphics, the graphics is outstanding out here, I'm loving it. The graphics are sweet, especially on that fighting one down there. The controllability of the games are unbelievable, I mean, it's very smooth. It's smooth, it's fast, and it makes for a more real life playing experience. It's pretty, uh, pretty close to cinematic quality, it's, it's unbelievable. There were a lot of parties being planned to celebrate the arrival of the PlayStation 2. Since we've never been known to miss out on free food and drink, we flew down to LA for what turned out to be a rather raucous rave. Oh man, this is beautiful. As you can see here, we got the hundreds of kids having fun playing PlayStation 2, dancing in the unison of you know the music. This is, I think, what you know the urban culture. They play video games. They listen to uh, music. They they go to raves. All the kids here, they play video games. You know, and. You go to a rave, you play a video game, you go play a video game, you dance when you win. Same difference, you know? It's all good. Dancing and video games. What better life is that? This was definitely a rave to remember. Some people were dancing up a storm out on the floor. And some were creating another type of storm playing video games. We were interested in what their favorite games were. Ready to rumble too. Shaquille O'Neal with that reach, baby. Let's him up. I got to beat up Michael Jackson. I feel good now. You know what I'm saying? I got to beat up Michael Jackson. Tekken is my favorite game. It's really in intricate fighting, and it's the styles of the fighting is just great, you know? I think Ridge Racer 5 looks great. Finally realized as it should be. Um, Vanavision's actually really good too, which I, I'm kind of glad they did something to show off the power. Great demonstration of its lighting and particle effects. I like the football one over there in the in the bar area, the 21 and up area. The football one has nice graphics. You got the people on the sideline chilling. You see them drinking their Gatorade while they're playing, and that's, I mean, how can you get any realer? The following week, we were off to the Metreon in San Francisco. That's where Sony Computer Entertainment was celebrating in style. Of course, when it came to having an opinion on which games were the best, these folks needed no prompting. The favorite thing, obviously, has been Madden 2001. It's just been great. I mean, everything from the realism of the rain scene, I think it's totally cool. And then I love watching, you know, the fact that they're breathing in the rain through the field. So, and then not only do you get to play football, but you get to actually feel like you're there. Uh, the Tekken Tech uh, tournament is pretty, uh, pretty unbelievable. Well, my favorite game was SSX, snowboarding game. Um, I thought the visual effects were really great. The graphics was awesome. Carmen, Sony rules. Just, just remember this. Before you could say honey roasted peanuts, we were back on another plane headed for LA. With no invitation in sight, we made a feeble attempt to crash a star-studded Hollywood party. Luckily, we knew someone on the guest list who was able to sneak us in. Now, we may have been starstruck, but Maggie did manage to strike up some conversations. I'm a huge PlayStation fan. I I've been waiting for this day. I'm gonna cry right now. I, I think I'm gonna cry. I'm a huge fan. Oh, I'm having a blast. I mean, there's, there's music, food, and PlayStation, it's pretty much a guy's heaven. I think I can pretty much quit, quit my TV show and just sit up here on the roof and play. Maggie, the epitome of the inquiring mind, just had to know if Wayne was going to subscribe to the PlayStation Underground. Now that I know the PlayStation Underground is around, I'll be there. I'll definitely be there. Um, can, I, can I get codes and tips and whatnot? Oh yeah. Then I'll do it. Because when I can't beat it, I just cheat. It's sad but true. Even though we were wiped out from our trips, we were brimming with confidence that the PlayStation 2 launch would be a huge success. Why? Because of the word on the street. Um, actually, I already got one reserved for the day it comes out. Uh, most definitely. I already have mine pre-ordered. Yeah, definitely. Uh, the 26th, I'll be either camping or I'll be knocking doors to get one. I thought it would be like a perfect birthday present for me because today's my birthday. And I'm definitely going to go buy me one right when it comes out. It's on my Christmas list. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm hoping to get two. I can't wait for them to come out. I'm gonna get like six of them. Sony Computer Entertainment President Ken Kutaragi officially kicked off sales of the PlayStation 3 in Japan on Saturday. <laughs> Kutaragi was at a central Tokyo electronics store to hand over the first console, which went to a man from China who didn't give his name. Kutaragi said he was pleased at the turnout, which numbered around a thousand people at the store. Queuing was allowed from around 4 a.m., but people had been waiting nearby since the night before. By around 5 a.m. no more customers were being allowed in line and the store was telling people that they were too late to purchase the console. The queue was mostly orderly, although at one point pushing and shoving threatened the safety of people at the head of the queue. The shop's inability to keep control caused the police to turn up shortly afterwards. Later, the line was orderly but moved very slowly. Alongside the customers, media from around the world came to get a first glimpse of the PlayStation 3 on sale. It will hit stores in North America, Hong Kong and Taiwan on Friday, but won't be available in Europe and Australia until March next year. This is Martin Williams in Tokyo, IDG News Service. Conditions in anticipation of tomorrow's PlayStation 3 launch. It marks a new era in gaming with lifelike graphics and motion sensing controls. See you, Shirley Engel is live outside Best Buy in Burlington tonight with some diehard gamers. Good evening, Shirley. Good evening, Nick. Well, the lights are out and the doors are closed at this location, but just check out this lineup of customers just waiting for the crack of dawn. That's when 21 PS3 consoles will hit store shelves, and despite the weather, they say it's worth the overnight wait. As the mercury drops, not even the plastic tarps can fend off the cold. But the mood remains high among these 21 gaming enthusiasts. We got a little tent set up here with uh, umbrellas and such. And they still have to pay for the payoff, up to $700 a piece. For a couple days now, they've been waiting out front. Uh, they know what's available, they know what's there, they know what to expect, uh, and at least they're guaranteed to get one unit. If you're not one of the people lined up right now, good luck getting your hands on one of these. There's only 40,000 PS3 consoles being shipped to Canada. And when you divide that among the thousands of retailers from coast to coast, only a handful will go to each store. If money's no object, you could go on eBay. But buyer beware, the highest bid tonight was nearly $10,000. What they're going to try to do is use a little bit of momentum to build during the Christmas season and beyond. But Sony has some competition. I'm here to award you with the first Wii in Canada. Burlington's Cheryl Donnelly won Nintendo's latest console in a random draw. Her five-year-old son will play before anyone else in Canada. I just said, I won, I won, and I was telling him, and, and he was like, and I'm going to get it, so <laughs> he was pretty excited. Nintendo's Wii hit store shelves on Sunday and retails for nearly $400 less than the PS3. The gaming experience on our system versus our competitors is very different. But it'll still be a tough decision for those willing to endure the elements. Believe it or not, some of the hardcore gamers don't decide. They're standing in line tonight to pay $700 for the Sony PlayStation, and they will be back in line 48 hours from now paying another $300 for the Nintendo. That's what we mean when we're talking about hardcore gamers. And make no mistake, this is a very organized event on the part of the stores. These customers will be given numbers at 6 o'clock tomorrow morning, and that will give them priority over the number of PS3 uh, consoles that will be available. That will mark the beginning of the gaming wars. Nick, we're sure to see lineups like this for the launch of Nintendo Wii on Sunday. Back to you.
Let's <laughs> go.